here we are in the dungeon, Cooper's dungeon. We have got some ghosts in here, I bet you. I bet there's some stories in here. It's got... hot down here, too. Yes, it is hot down here. It's yeah. hot in Phoenix, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, especially down here, because, you know, like you said, it's paranormal down here. But you look exactly the same, Alice. Well, I wouldn't... I'm telling you. We got that down, got... me and you. Yeah. Well, no. you more than me, I think, because it's like when I was in Montrose at the first very beginning, when and Shep, your manager, the, the super mensch, uh, we interviewed him to manage us and, and I was a big fan that we chose him to say hey sure. we think he'd manage us because of you and uh, seeing you for the first time back in the early 70s and seeing you now to me you look exactly the same you know I feel the it's same except that I was drunk then well <laughs> you, you, I don't think you were quite that drunk yet were you I very was beginning? you know it was funny I was the most functional alcoholic on the planet you never knew wow, I was drunk no not in the beginning I was then. Dean Martin yeah I mean I was that golden buzz that kind of went on I came up with the Jimi Hendrixes and the Jim Morrisons. They were our big brothers. Yeah. And you had to drink with them. You couldn't just sit there and, you know, have a Coke. <laughs> had you had to drink with, with these guys. Yeah. And uh, they all died at 27 years old. I mean, you know. So crazy. You've been sober for how long? 32 years. I'm only 33 years old. That's yeah. amazing. You got yes. sober a year I got sober I right born. when you were born. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. It was an honor of you. Yeah. <laughs> You were born and I said, I'm stopping drinking right now because... Okay, your whole career has been this Alice Cooper character, yeah, you know. Yeah. And do you ever feel like where you would just be yourself and just go out there and do that? Have you ever thought about making that change? You know, Was the, there ever a point? You in know? the last five, maybe six, seven years, I've actually gone up and started jamming with bands. Whereas I never did that before. Never yeah. went out without my makeup without on. Never character. went out, you know, on stage. There's two different people there. There's the character I developed, who is Alice, you know. And he's got his own personality. He's got his own sense of humor. He's got his own persona. And I become him up there. But let's say me and you go up and play uh, rock and roll with a band. No, I'm Levi's and this. I, I come cool. from a bar. I played in bars much longer than anybody thinks. I was for six, seven years. All good bands started in little dumpy bars, yeah, I agree. playing four yeah. sets a night, and that's how you get good. But you but know? in your in your career, it's like you know the thought of you know got people like Kiss. They've tried to they've tried to scrap it. How many times did they try yeah. to say we're going out without our makeup and they play for four hundred people? They yeah. put it back on. They play for forty thousand. You know? yeah. No, but, I respect Alice the character. I yeah. really respect, and I refer to him in the third person all the time. You know, when uh, Shep and you I, are right now. Yeah, right, we talk folks, about what, what, Shep and I talk about Alice. They said, well, well, would Alice wear that? And I go, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, or would Alice say that? Uh, my kids, when my kids were growing up, the video would come on, and they would go, oh, look, Alice is on. And I would go, awesome. oh, yeah, look. They know I play Alice, but they've never seen Alice at home. Something else that I've always been tripped out on you is that you were such a villain, you know, me growing up. I mean, we're the same age, but I like say you made it before me. So I'm looking up to you like, wow, look at this guy. I mean, I didn't know if you were real or not. I, you know, I, th I thought you were probably real. As a matter of yeah. fact, I thought this guy's really a freaking evil bastard, yeah. you know, here. And uh, then all of a sudden you show up on the Hollywood squares. Yeah. And I did not like that. Well, I, a lot I of did fans not didn't like it. Like it was, that. What, what it was was I it said. It freaked me out. I love to put Alice in places he didn't belong. So I purposely. I did Hollywood Squares. I did. Started I did hanging out with Groucho Marx. Yeah, I love Groucho taking Marx. Taking pictures with all the wrong people. Yeah, I, but I mean, I, I wanted to make Alice part of that Hollywood scene, only still doesn't fit. But do you think <laughs> that, that, that it hurt your, your family? Was it, I don't know about your, your career at that There point. was a career dip there because. With record sales or with the live performance? It was, okay. well, it was right when dis, the disco plague happened. Well, yeah, that took a bite out of a lot it of took, people. It took all of us hard rock guys and set us way back and they'd only play our ballads. I really, I'm impressed now, but like I said at the time, I thought, oh man, the this Muppet is bullshit. Show. I mean, I, I was over you, not like, I hate this guy, we just like, ah, oh, he's, a, he's a phony, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it was a calculated risk, it really was. Yeah. And, and the thing about it was, was Shep and I talked and said, do we want to just leave Alice alone and just say, well, that's over. It, we never once made a record that wasn't a hard rock record. Every record we made was hard rock. Do, do you ever feel like a hypocrite in any way about, you know, with this uh, alter ego that, you know, this guy that you are, this Alice character that's, that is a villain and a dark guy and some young kids taking that serious? And my, my, my favorite rock star I mean, is still okay Alice Cooper. You're okay with all that? Yeah. My, the character, Alice yeah, Cooper, is okay still my him. favorite rock yeah, star. You're still okay with him. He's, and yeah, what do you do to great. balance that in your real life? Philanthropy well, of some kind? Or you, you take know, care of kids? You have a well, foundation? You know, I'm, I'm Christian. Yeah. I go to church every Sunday. I Bible study. 
Uh, yeah, but do you go to like ask for forgiveness or? or do you go oh yeah, <laughs> all the time. Every if you're Sunday, a Christian, you're asking for forgiveness asking all the time. You, Sunday, you spend damn, all Alice. your time asking for forgiveness <laughs> when you're a Christian. But you know, I think people have the wrong I, uh, the wrong focus on Christianity. It's you know, it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship with Christ. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not what you see on television and church with this and that and that. That happens and everything. That's great, but it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship, and it doesn't interfere with Alice Cooper. I mean, there are songs I won't do now. But 18, School's Out, I mean, all the, the horror songs are fun. I mean, you know, there was nothing ever, ever satanic about Alice Cooper. Bucketlish. What do you, what do you want to do? What, what, what's in you? I would love to see an Alice Broadway play. Ooh. You know, with somebody else playing me, but with me telling the guy playing me how to play Alice. Because there's a great story there. There is yeah. a great story. I can see that. In yeah, a second. Yeah, but I mean, happen. what about outside of your musical thing? Is there? Do you have like you know you want to save the world in some kind of way? Do you want to build we, a building? We you know, are you never going to run out of kids in trouble. Yeah. We are never going to run out of teenagers in trouble. And the and the Solid Rock Foundation, the thing that we started 14 years ago, I said, what is the one thing if you take a kid from the worst ghetto, and a kid from the greatest house in Beverly Hills and put them in a room, what are they going to talk about? Who are you listening to? What, what yeah. music? What's your music? So if that's the common denominator, take that 15-year-old kid that's already born into the gangs. Mom and dad are both in gangs. And they're arguing about which gang he's going to be in, not if he's going to be in a gang. And that kid goes, I want to play guitar, though. Well, we opened that place for him to play that guitar. And you have musical instruments and, and things? They learn, they learn guitar, bass, drums, everything free. And so we get 25, 30 kids a day in there. 100 kids, some 150 kids a week that are religious about showing up. And it, it's, it's a Christian wow, nonprofit, right but right we're not beating them over the head with the Bible. We're not doing anything. We're just saying, play rock and roll. Yeah. You know? Music is, gives you a focus and a direction. And sports, and, you know, things that you, something that you love, but everyone loves music. Everybody no one would not music. want to play music. Well, everybody no identifies one. with somebody. Yeah. In music, we got to wind it up, Alice. But honestly, I, I could talk to you for a hundred years, and I've known you for a hundred years. And well, I, we come from the same school. And I, mean, I wish I, I I knew you. I keep telling everybody, I know I've known Alice for a long time, but I really don't know him. I'm not sure I know you anymore, but I know you've got a good heart, and your heart's in the right place, and uh, you're a talented son of a gun. You've been around a long time, and there's a reason for that. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. This is what you call no rehearsal, and this is called having fun and playing some real music. And uh, welcome, everybody. We've been filming a TV show for uh, Access TV, and I've been interviewing Alice all day. We've been hanging out and having a good time. And uh, now it's time to play a little bit of music for y'all. Oh, the coop is in the house. Look at him, Alice. The proprietor, the proprietor is in the house. You have no idea how far we'd go back together. It's like reform school, everything, you know. <laughs> All right, let's do it.